Hello viewers, you are welcome to Suzem Academy. My name is Pharmacist Ezanya Emmanuel Chetana. The course we are going to treat today is a pharmaceutical calculation. What is pharmaceutical calculation? Pharmaceutical calculation is a, an area of study that deals with a the application of basic mathematical principles to the effective and safe formulation, compounding, dispensing, and the use of pharmaceuticals. When I say basic mathematical principles, what it implies is that the calculation we are talking about here is not majorly the complex ones. The basic mathematical principles you need to be able to do the pharmaceutical calculations you need as a pharmacist or as a pharmaceutical as, as, as a pharmacy technician working in a hospital, working in pharmacies community pharmacies, the calculation is just, is just basic mathematical principles of addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. Yes, even though in pharmacy calculation we still have complex ones that when you talk of pharmacoeconomics, statistics, pharmaceutics and all those um, complex calculations those ones are there but the one you need as a pharmacy technician or as a pharmacist working in a hospital or coming to pharmacy just these basic mathematical principles now what are the scopes of this pharmaceutical calculation i have already mentioned them when you talk of those calculation, calculation of dosages, dosage regimens, and the level of dispensing in pharmacy and the and the hospitals practice, we also have apply we also apply pharmaceutical calculation in drug formulation, drug development. Also in pharmacokinetics, when you are when you are calculating the the rates of drug absorption, excretion, half life, and all these pharmacokinetic profile of a particular drug, we also apply pharmaceutical calculation there without wasting our time. There are basic principles you need to know you need to remind yourself of basic mathematical principles for you to be able to do well in pharmaceutical calculation what are these basic mathematical principles i've mentioned addition subtraction multiplication and the what have you you cannot talk of mathematical principles basic mathematical principles without mentioning numbers and numerals so the topic we are going to start with is numbers and numerals number and what numeral number and numeral you know some people make this mistake of thinking that the two terms are interchangeable no numbers are not the same thing with numerals now let me explain what are numbers numbers can be defined as this as the idea you have conceived in your mind about how to count or measure an object that's a number and this 
idea needs to be represented. These ideas are abstract. They are represented by what we call numerals. Now, have you not seen that they are not the same thing? So, what are numerals? Numerals are nothing but um, letters used to represent what? A number. Or the form in which numbers are written. Now, let me explain. There are different numerals. We have different types of numerals. We'll still go there. We have Arabic numerals. We have Roman numerals. So it is important we know that these two terms are not the same. There is also another term that people also make mistake about. Digits. Digits. Digits are single, single figures that forms numerals. Now, let, let me explain. You have a, an idea in your mind. You only have an idea in your mind. Say, four. You only have four in your mind. Okay, four. You can represent four in different ways. You can say, okay, I can represent four by, by tapping my hand. I have presented four. I can represent four by tapping my, my leg on the floor. Four times, I have presented four. I can represent four by getting stones. Different stones, four stones. This represents four. I can represent four by using a figure, a letter. I can say four. I can use figure four. I can say one, two, three. Sorry, one, two, four. These are different ways of presenting four. But we are more particular about this. This four and this four. Although this and this are the same thing. This is the Arabic numeral, this is the what? Sorry, this is the Arabic numeral, this is the what? Roman numeral. Have you now seen how, how you use these figures to represent an idea which is four in your mind? Now, when you talk of digits, you can have a, a number, say, you can have numeral that that may be let's, let's say 123 this is a numeral 123 is a numeral and in that numeral we have three it, 123 is a three digit numeral it has three digits one two three have you not seen why you you say that you you why we say that a, a, a digit forms the, the numeral. Anyway, sometimes a numeral may be a digit numeral. Yes, one digit numeral. If you just say one, it's a numeral representing the one you have in your mind and the digits that make up that one is just one digit. So it's a single digit. Eh? numeral you can also say 123 this is a three digit numeral this is one is the first digit two second digit the other one is three is the third digit so these things are not the same they differ from each other so let us not make continue making this mistake of thinking that numbers numerals and digits are the same thing no so let me just re re represent this schematically now you have what you have the idea you have in your mind which is what number sorry you have the 
a digit. Digit. Forms numera. You now use numera to represent, sorry, uh, yes, a number. So number is abstract. Numerals is what you can see. And digit forms the, the numeral, are part of the numeral. So let's continue. So these three things are not the same thing. Now, another point I want to make is this. Going into numbers, of course, we, we are all familiar with number line. Number line. So, number line goes like this. At the, at the middle, you have zero. Here, you have the negative part. And here is what? The positive part. This negative part is to infinity. And this positive part is to infinity. So, here is zero. From zero, now you have, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, in that direction. Even though you don't put plus in front of the number numbers, once it, it, it doesn't have any sign, we all know that it's in the positive side, that is the right hand side. Now, the other one is that from here now, you now start having, from after zero, you start having minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. It descends, so minus four is less than minus three, which is less than minus two, less than minus one to zero. So zero is greater than all this in the negative side. From there, you, you, you start increasing, one, two, three. So this is what we call number line. This represents different numbers. Yeah. For the purpose of pharmaceutical calculation, we are going to limit ourselves to numerals. So let's focus on numerals now because what every other thing we are going to discuss we base on that. So let's continue. As I said before now, we have different types of what? Numerals. So without wasting time, let's just go to Pick these two, the two popular one, which is uh, the the Roman numerals and what Arabic uh, numerals, Roman numerals and the uh, Arabic numerals. We are all familiar with the Arabic numerals. So. Arabic numerals are the one we are familiar with. Our one, two, three, four, five, six, to infinity. That the one I used in the in the number lines. These numbers, these are the words. These, these numerals, numerals, not number. These numerals. One, two, three, four, five. 10, 11, 2, 4, 5, 6, 10, 100, 200, 300, in, in that format. We call these numera Arabic numerals. Let me write them well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 200, and what have you. These are the Arabic numerals. Now, our Roman numerals, they are simple to understand. Next one is what? Roman numeral. This is Arabic. We have Roman. Roman numerals are the one we represent with these letters. I, 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 V, V and what are V? These are the words Arabic, sorry, Roman numerals. In pharmaceutical calculation, in prescription writing, these are used mostly, Roman numerals. So if you don't know Roman numerals well, you may have issues interpreting 
prescriptions. So, in our next lecture, we are going to go into the Roman numerals and how to count Roman numerals. We are going to use that next le in our next lecture to refresh our memory on this because it's important you know this. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm still your friend from Ezra Emmanuel Chetana. So for more lectures, for you to get more our lectures, you can visit our website on academy.suzemlimited.com academy.suzemlimited.com There you can see different lectures from different intellectuals. You can download them, buy them from the site. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.